Papers, welcome back to my channel, but if you're new here, hi, hello, I hope you'll stay, subscribe to this channel for more vape videos, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I upload a new video, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can find me outside of YouTube on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you so choose. I do all of my vape giveaways on those social medias because you're not allowed to do vape giveaways on YouTube. I also chat directly with you guys on Twitter every day, and I post to Instagram story all day every day I love it so that's like my personal life I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non vape related things so if you want to check out my other hobbies and interests you can check out my second channel and I have a vape related patreon where the monthly rewards are vape related so e-liquids mods accessories things like that if any of that interests you the description box will be full of the links below check it out but let's get right into the video today I have the Bubble Co. e-liquid. I have three flavors here. Now, before I started filming this video, I went to their website to get the info for the e-liquid, as I do, um, and their website seems to be a little bit messed up, so I tried going to their Facebook, and their Facebook wasn't very helpful, and then I tried to go to their Instagram, and their Instagram was blank. So I'm like, what are you doing, Bubble Co., or the Bubble Co.? Like, what's going on? I don't know, because they did their last, like, post to Facebook was like February 1st so they they have to still be around but like their their website is not working for me at least not the mobile version maybe I should have put a little bit more effort in and did it on the desktop but I didn't I've got 60 mil bottles here zero milligrams nicotine three flavors I'm not sure if they have more than three these are the three I got sent a long long time ago I have starstruck blue raz starstruck watermelon and starstruck green apple so I'll go ahead and probably just try all of these flavors this one does show blueberries and a blue raspberry this box does show a strawberry and a watermelon and this box is just straight up apples i'm probably gonna love this one so these are bubble oh <laughs> look they have the little pictures on the top too so these are bubble gum flavors um, so I'm gonna start with blue raspberry because that's a flavor I really don't like um, in general for anything so I just kind of want to get that one out of the way these guys are based out of California and this is the unicart that it comes in is that what that's called I hear makeup people use that word a lot or maybe I'm not even saying it and I think I'm hearing them say unicart but I don't know correct me below please so I'm surprised totally thought these were gonna be unicorn bottles but nope, they are glass bottles. And I'm gonna see, do we have any more information about the e-liquid on here? We do not, we have the batch number though. That's always good. So check out the label art, pretty clean, pretty simple for Starstruck Blue Raz. And the bottle and the cart or the box that comes in say shake well, so. Oh my goodness, it's, I just don't like blue raspberry and that is 100% smells like blue raspberry oh well well my husband's home i wonder if you guys can hear the garage door it's like right beneath this room and he's closing it <laughs> let me just just wait to vape this that might be loud hmm there is blue raspberry in there but So I'm not thrilled with the bubblegum flavor that's supposed to be coming through. And there is blue raspberry like on the inhale, but when you're exhaling it's just that like bubblegum flavor. And it's it's not good. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. It's not the type of bubblegum. It's like really sugarless gum or like already chewed bubble gum I mean that's brand new cotton we're vaping in an appropriate wattage it's got clouds <laughs> but no um yeah so mainly you get the blueberry blue raspberry on the inhale and on the aftertaste but when you're exhaling you're mainly getting their their version of bubble gum and I didn't like it with that one so let's hope that this one is better 
Ooh, cause it smells good. So this is the watermelon and that's like everyone's favorite, right? Everyone vape or vapes. <laughs> Everyone chews watermelon bubble gum and that's exactly what this smells like. This one's a little better because you do get the watermelon bubble gum on the inhale and the exhale. This one is also a lot more sweeter. Again, not like a super strong bubblegum vibe to it. Um, this one is definitely better in the sense that the flavor is sweeter and more sugary and giving a little bit more of that bubblegum vibe, but not as much as like mouthwatering, juicy bubblegum, right? That's what I think of, especially with a company called like The Bubble Co. Um, this is definitely better than the Blue Raspberry one, so maybe the Blue Raspberry was just like their formula was off for that one, or maybe I got a bad one. I hate hate giving bad reviews just because I feel bad because I know people put like hard work in like I know what it's like to get a bad review because I have an e-liquid and so you know it's it's hard for me to be like this is not good because somebody somewhere put in you know effort most of the time to their product at least this one's a little bit better still not up to where I would want to like be like yes it's a delicious bubblegum vape but this one is so much better than the, the blue raspberry. I feel like maybe the watermelon sugary flavor is kind of masking that bubblegum flavor more that I didn't like in the other flavor. But let's go on. I'm holding out hope for this one. This is the one I was actually most excited for because I love apple vapes. I live in the apple capital of the world or what used to be, so I'm not sure if it still is, but I love apple vapes. Mm, oh my gosh, that is like sickly sweet smelling of apple, but then there's also like an undersmell. I don't even know if that is like a word, but like there's a smell in there that is kind of like apple mixed with not, I don't know how to even describe it. So I'm like, please, please be good. Hmm. So this one is definitely green apple and it's definitely like a Granny Smith fresh apple, but not a super tart one either. This one is almost like completely lacking that bubble gum flavor that I'm looking for. Oh, clouds, bitch. This is almost just like a straight up, like sort of sweet, a little bit muted, green apple flavor. I'm not really getting any bubble gum. I mean, maybe on the the aftertaste, I'm getting some remnants of bubble gum, but definitely to me, at least not like a chewable bubble gum, right? So, I mean, it does taste like green apple, but I just, I'm not getting bubble gum. And this is kind of like the same for all of the flavors. It's just like a little bit weak when we're coming to the bubblegum game. So let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this e-liquid and what you think of it. You can check out the bubbleco.com. Like I said, their website looked a little off to me on my phone when I was trying to look up more about the e-liquid, but it might be just fine on the desktop. But that's it for the video and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.